Hello and welcome back to Alice Talks Football and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the latest Manchester United transfer news today. We're going to be talking a lot about Jadon Sancho, this rumour that Jadon Sancho's cousin has confirmed he's going to Manchester United. What is the latest on Jadon Sancho to Manchester United? Is it true when the Mirror reported, yes the Mirror so probably not true, that we're ready to pull out of the Sancho deal and go in for David Brooks? Gabrielle Magalise has gone to Arsenal. What was my thoughts on that? As well as all the latest Manchester United news and transfer news today. So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe down below, share this video and let's get into it. So the first story I want to talk about is the Jadon Sancho story because it's been circulating around Instagram and Twitter a lot lately that Jadon Sancho's alleged cousin confirmed he's moving to Manchester United on Instagram. So what exactly happened? Well, an account called MC Fox Huge posted a photo of Sancho with the caption Got to big up my cuz at Sancho 10, gonna have to bat the Red Devils now. And obviously a lot of Manchester United fans have got really interested in it, like, oh, Sancho's cousin's confirmed he's going to Manchester United. So, well, what does this mean? Is this actually Sancho's cousin? Well, I did some digging on the page, and this person actually has a photo with Sancho and a couple of other people called, like, Family, why was it Dortmund? But Sancho does not follow this account on Instagram, so I don't know if this is Sancho's cousin. Like, I can't tell you that. But even if he is Sancho's cousin, does that mean Sancho will come to Manchester United? No, because at the end of the day, Sancho wants to come to Manchester United, but just because Sancho's cousin says he's coming doesn't mean the Glazers will pay the money. There was actually a thing earlier in like May, March, April time where like Thomas Partey's uncle would come out and said that he was going to Arsenal, which was like not true. So just because a family member says it's happening doesn't mean it will happen. If this is Sancho's cousin, he probably knows that Sancho wants to come to Manchester United. Sancho's ready to go to Manchester United and probably knows that Manchester United just need to hurry up and bid for Jadon Sancho. So what's the latest on the Jadon Sancho to Manchester United news? Now I've said this in my last couple of videos, but Jadon Sancho wants to come to Manchester United. Jadon Sancho has agreed personal times with Manchester United. Dortmund, as much as they can play mind games, we know if Manchester United pay Dortmund £120 million they will sell Jadon Sancho. Dortmund, they've done this with Usman Dembele, they've done this with Aubameyang, they try and hold up and act like the player's staying, but as soon as you throw the cash that they want at Dortmund, they will sell. Dortmund love cash and they love getting their way in the transfer window, whilst Manchester United love trying to get a player for as cheap as possible, love trying to not spend money. Manchester United, the Glazers would be happy if Manchester United got a transfer ban. That's how our owners work. If we got a transfer ban, our owners would probably be happy. But what we know from Jadon Sancho is Jadon Sancho, he does want to come to Manchester United. Jadon Sancho really wants to come to Manchester United. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer really wants Jadon Sancho. It's just that our owners are the type of owners that don't really want to spend the money on Sancho. They don't want to splash their record transfer fee on this player. I do think that Jadon Sancho will come to Manchester United. I do think we'll end up paying for him because if we can pay £80 million for Harry Maguire, why can't we pay £120 million for Jadon Sancho, who's younger and better? And I actually saw something on Twitter that I want to read out, which is like the cycle of Manchester United managers and transfers. Someone put this on Twitter. It starts with hire a new manager, make three to four signings they want, get Champions League football, make no new signings and release the search for our director of football article, get sick because of lack of recruitment, sack the manager for poor performance and then hire the new manager. And that is the cycle that it's going. If we don't back Oli this window, how do you expect him to consistently get top four? How do you expect him to improve if we don't back Oli this transfer window? Like, I think Manchester United have a really good opportunity. We've come third to catch City and Liverpool. If we got Sancho, Van der Beek, and if we got Gabriel, who's now off to Arsenal, I think Manchester United could massively close the gap on City and Liverpool. But what's happened this transfer window is Liverpool have brought Thiago Alcantara, Manchester City brought Ferran Torres, Nathan Ake. They've both improved while we haven't improved yet. And with Manchester United, if we were run properly, we could have Sancho right now. We could have got Sancho on like the 4th of August. We could have got Van der Beek back in like March when Chelsea got like Ziyech, if we were run like a proper football club. And I think that is the big problem because we see all the teams around us making deals and improving, but we haven't improved. And I think Oli is really frustrated. And obviously it's really frustrating having our owners because we can't change anything. But, you know, Jadon Sancho wants to come to Manchester United. He wants to come everything is done we just need to pay the money because this player wants to come to Manchester United he's the best young talent out there other than Mbappe like 120 million pounds I don't even think is that much money and when I say 120 million pounds I mean 120 million euros which is like 105 million pounds 
And I think, you know, Manchester United would be stupid to miss out on this. I do think we will get Sancho. I do think we'll get over in the over the line in the air. But I do think it's just going to take a while because it's Manchester United. We knew we were going to get Maguire the whole chance of the window. But we, it waited till like the last week till we got Maguire. And I think the same will happen with Jadon Sancho. I actually saw something else on Twitter, which I thought was quite relatable. Okay, it goes coming this week on Twitter. Arsenal admin, Gabriel is a gunner. Chelsea admin, Chilwell is a blue. Liverpool admin, UCL winner Thiago has joined the Reds. City admin, Koulibaly is a blue. United admin, look what happened last time we faced Fulham at Craven Cottage. And that is kind of summing up our transfer window, you know. Everyone around us is improving, as I've said before, but we haven't brought anyone. And I think I just want our owners to just go, you know what, we'll pay the money for Sancho. Oh, Van der Beek, £35 million. Pounds. You know, great player abroad. Let's get Van der Beek. Oh, wow, we need a CDM or a left foot centre back and just get three players this transfer window. I mean, I'd just be happy if we just signed Sancho because it's Manchester United. But if we really want to be a top club, like look at Chelsea signing four or five players, spending 50 million on Chilwell. Chilwell's not worth 50 million, in my opinion. I actually think Luke Shaw's better than Chilwell. But, you know, if we were run like a top club, we could have Sancho, we could have Van der Beek, we could have had a Gabriel off Arsenal. We could have completely bantered Arsenal because I'm pretty sure. He choose Manchester United over Arsenal. Now, talking of Gabriel, Fabrizio Romano has done his here we go. Gabriel is a gunner. Gabriel Magalhães has joined Arsenal. He could link up with William Saliba. And Arsenal, Banter FC, 8th place FC, actually look like they could be building something because Tierney, Saliba, Magalhães, some good young defenders in there. And we always mock Arsenal's defence of being shocking. But they could actually build something. They've got the likes of Bakayo Saka. They've got Martinelli. He's a good young talent. Not as good as Greenwood, though. Greenwood better. You know, Alba, Aubameyang looks like he's staying. I mean, Pepe could have a much better second season because I did think he improved under Arteta. You know, even Arsenal look like they're going in a better direction than Manchester United. However, if Manchester United do sign Sancho, then it, then it gives us a path of direction. You know, I thought... I think... We got some signings last window, we need some signings this window, we need some signings next window and we'll look like we're going in a direction because I feel like it could be one of those windows where Oli doesn't get backed, a poor season next season, manager sacked, whereas this is a chance to get some players in and actually improve on third. I do think if we get some signings in we'll probably get third but I think it'll be the third where we're only six points behind City or ten points behind the champions rather than like 30 points behind the champions if you know what I mean. And plus, we're in the Champions League next season, so we need depth because we can't rest our good players. Because when we're in the Europa League and we're playing last, we could rest key players. Whereas if you're playing Real Madrid midweek, you can't rest key players, if you get what I mean. But that is all the latest Manchester United transfer news today. Let me know your thoughts on all the latest news today. Your thoughts on Gabriel to Arsenal. Do you think Gabriel to Arsenal is a good signing? Let me know your thoughts on the Jane Sancho news. Do you think this guy is actually his cousin? Do you want Jadon Sancho to come to Manchester United? And if we didn't sign Jadon Sancho, who would you want as an alternative at Manchester United? And what's your thoughts on Manchester United's transfer business so far? Are you frustrated? Are you annoyed that all the clubs around us are spending? Or do you think that Manchester United will pull it through in the last week of the transfer window and actually sign some players? And who do you want Manchester United to sign? If Manchester United could sign any three players this window, who would you get them to sign? But thank you for watching this video. It's just a quick little transfer news update, mostly about Jaden Sancho, what's going on, addressing the rumours about his cousin and Gabriel becoming a gunner. If you haven't already, please hit that like button, subscribe down below, share this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.